Hey guys, Brooke the Builder here. I've got a fun one for you today. Another fun one, I should say. We are going to be trying a website called Lego Art Remix. And I heard about this through one of my followers. Jay, you know who you are, but it is fantastic. I wanted to try it for myself. I wanted to see the process of either ordering on Bricklink, Lego, which option was cheaper, which is the way to go. And I want to show you my thoughts and the finished product behind me. I'm hiding it with my red hair, um, but it is behind me. And I can't wait to show you the art that I created. And I hope you enjoy the mediocreness. <laughs> mainly as you can see behind me. I like Star Wars, of course I love Lord of the Rings as well, but there's another theme that I love and it's the Lego movie. One and two. Uh, the Lego sets are awesome. I almost have every single one, but that's what I kind of wanted to do with the art, with this uh, like software, the Lego art remix. I really wanted to make that, so what you're gonna see basically is me using, uh, like deciding Bricklink or Lego to order my parts, so I'll show you that, and then of course like telling you which one like I prefer to do, uh, and like pros and cons of both, but basically I ordered some other stuff to just kind of like make the art unique as well, but I can't wait to show you the whole process, and then um, also when I hung it up I realized I wanted something else, you can kind of see it right by my hair here, so I also want to show you how to hang that up. Uh, cause sometimes when you run out of space, you gotta hang Lego on the wall. And it's been hanging there for like four days and it hasn't fallen. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, can't wait to show you guys too. So you guys are gonna see me going onto Bricklink, deciding if I'm gonna wanna do this or not, going to my wanted list that I created from the Art, Re uh, Art Remix Studio. Uh, so yes, I'm looking at the parts, checking out what I need, and then, of course, I'm going to try and order them. If you hit easy buy, um, sometimes it doesn't work. So I don't rely on this ever because, like, you can see, oh, that looks awesome. Then you look below. It's only 19 out of 25. So you're not getting all the pieces you need. So I don't do easy buy ever. I go to buy all when you're in the list. And you can select Canada, anywhere, United States, wherever you are. And select the stores that maybe you order from frequently. Uh, and then you kind of know how much your shipping is going to cost, but I'm still kind of looking here at my wanted list and still seeing like, oh, I'm going to have to select quite a few stores. I'm going to have to pay shipping from different ones. Might be faster than Lego in the end, but it's going to be way more money with shipping. Like I use DD Bricks all the time, but the shipping is a lot because it's from Thailand, but it's a great, he's a great seller. But um, yeah, I decided I'm going to go with Lego. So it took forever, but it was worth it. In the end, it was only $65 ordering on, like, pick a brick. Um, so I did that instead, and you'll kind of see there's best sellers, and then, of course, there's not. Best sellers come in, like, a week, which is great. So if you can find best sellers when you're making your art, do it. But, of course, we have to get other parts because I've got some unique colors. So I ordered those. I went to Lego Art Remix. This is the best thing ever if you are into art. You just upload a photo. I did the never stop sign uh, just kind of to show you here. It's not what I'm doing today, but it's a hint. Uh, but yeah, I did that. And you can see you just upload the photo. Basically, you can see all the colors it's going to be using. And if you notice like, oh man, this color is a lot of money. Maybe I'll change it up. You'll be able to see the colors that you can use that are lego pieces so you know if i want to maybe select more dark red over like the other color i can do that and you'll see it change at the end in your instructions so you can kind of modify that and then of course you are going to want to upload this to bricklink so you do still use bricklink in the end it is like very much needed so make sure you have an account You'll upload it onto that, uh, so then it'll make your parts list that you saw before. So I'm getting all my parts sorted. These were the parts that were basically on the bestseller list, so they came in about a week and a half. Um, so if you do go this Lego route, it is cheaper over Bricklink. I think it's the way to go for art, but I finally got these from Denmark. 
and like basically these are the ones I'm using and you can see the prices right there. So that's how many I needed and I got this. This took about like five weeks to get so if you're patient it is the way to go. I am going to sort it up and then we're going to get building this art. Can you guess what it is by the color scheme? Anything? There is a little he hidden gem in here if you can see any ideas. So I'm excited to build this art piece for sure. Okay, so I have my base and my instructions ready to build. Okay, so I have the first square on and I started with the first. I thought this would be easy to divide it like eight by eight on the 16 and then do the second, like this was the first section, second, third, but at this, I think this is the easiest way to start it. And then that, that, and then work my way down. So we've got, We've got it all figured and actually I am so glad that I bought this um, because it's actually a little hard to tell on these instructions what color is which. Like I'm looking at the instructions and 15 is really close to 16 so you read it and it's like 15 is medium azure and then like I almost accidentally did dark azure. Like there, there's a few things on here that like I just was able to match it with that and it was so handy to have this. I'm really glad I bought this. I saw this on another YouTuber's um, video and uh, yeah, I guess I'm number 1004, but I gotta say this is really worth it, especially when you're buying parts from Bricklink and Lego because they're always named something different, like for a few of them. So it's really nice to figure it out. Like I didn't know exactly what blue this was because there's so many shades of blue and then I was able to actually like be like okay that's dark azure so very handy if you did if you do do these instructions and a lot of the colors are similar I would totally recommend buying this periodic table it is so good okay we have the second section on and can you guys guess what I'm building yet I want to know it's a lot of blue it's a Lego theme. Any ideas? Tag it, put the timestamp, and let me know if you can guess already. And then, yeah, you will find out. But I want to know if you know right now. Okay, we've got the third one on. Now we're going to work on the next three. Okay, I have done one, two, three, four. And yeah, this one. I think this will be easy, this part. And yeah, I know I did an, I did the right math. We'll say I did girl math. <laughs> so it should equal out. I'm not the best at math, but I think we will have enough room. I counted 16, 16, you know, for the whole, the whole deal. Just because I'm not doing this how the instructions want you to do it, you know? I wanted to use these plates. So it's looking good so far. I like it. And then, of course, I'm going to do either gray or black. I think I'll do black for space, even if this is the moon. Like, I think black is the way to go, so... I'm excited. Okay, if you can't tell who it is already, you don't watch the Lego movie, but I think it's looking good. I think it'll look really good from afar, but I think it's turning out all right. All right, we've finished six steps and now we've just got the torso to go and then of course the space. And uh, yeah, I think it's looking really good. I'm trying to get an angle from that, but it'll look really good from afar. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm kind of changing this part. Um, I, I didn't have the right color. I realized after I did my order that for some reason the color that they chose does exist, but it was very hard to find that color. So I have, I have these gold ones from the Iron Man set, and of course I'm just gonna like fix some of this, but this is what I have so far. I think it's actually looking really good. Um, I'm finishing off this. I am like kind of running out of blue, so I hope I have enough to finish this, but I need to make some changes because, of course, I'm just kind of using this for reference because Lego Art Remix kind of didn't do this the best. Like the arrow wasn't in there, so I'm kind of going to try and edit that and see how it turns out.
Okay, so this is what we're working with. I think it looks good. Like, I did run out of the right blue pieces, so hopefully it looks good. Uh, I'll, I'll know better when I hang it up on the wall and look from afar, but I think it looks really good. Now I'm going to do, like, black around for, like, being in space. And then I put the little tile there, put six bricks underneath of it, right under there. And then I am going to put Benny there as well, and I think it's going to look good. And, of course... Uh, almost every person has a brick separator. This one, when you're doing art, is not the best. I don't know if, um, like, it, it does work, but not for the flat ones that well. It works for these ones pretty decently. But the piece of resistance is this guy. The one, the brick separator that comes with the dot sets. Like, I got it in one set, and it is fantastic. And it's so easy. Like, you can just pop them off, like, so simple. Like, especially the ones that are in here, you can get right underneath. So, if you're going to do art uh, yourself, get this bad boy. It's great. Okay, so it is all finished. We just have to add Benny. And then, of course, just an extra piece because his jetpack sits out a little bit. And then we are good. There we go. And of course, I know this sticks up a bit, but I'm going to put it on the wall, two-sided tape. And then I think I might put, I might get some more pieces and put like Spaceship or Benny. I might do that as well. But I think it turned out awesome. Now we got to display it. Okay, I put my two-sided tape on the back and then I'm going to put it on the wall next to the periodic table and then go from there. All right, I've got it all hung up. I love how it looks. I still am deciding if I want lettering underneath, I'll have to order pieces for that for sure. I've got the periodic table, and then of course, I need to put something there, and I've got the perfect thing, and I'm gonna show you guys how to hang it as well, but that was just two-sided tape, and then now I've gotta hang Benny's spaceship. I can build that now. I can build a spaceship! Okay, so we have the ship right here, and I've already accidentally launched the shooter right there <laughs> on the one side but yeah I think I'm gonna hang it the nose is gonna be up and uh yeah just gonna do that with the I'm gonna I'm gonna launch that oh, okay with the technic structure right there I am going I think you're supposed to use wire but I've used fishing line in the past so that's my plan and then basically you just need that and a screw and then we should be able to hang that up there so this is the fishing wire that I'm going to use. I got it off of Amazon, and then I'm just going to put it underneath on the ship on the Technic part. So I'll show you what it looks like when I get that on there. Okay, so I have it right there. I put it through the Technic structures you can kind of see right there. So and I did about four knots, and it's I, once I hang that on a screw, it'll be good to go. So that's the plan. Okay, I've had to put an anchor in just because there's no stud here and I want it like in between. So I got the anchor in the stud in and hopefully this works. I will let you know. Okay, I was able to get it up. Just basically did the uh, fishing line, one screw, one anchor, put the fishing line through the Technic underneath and I think it looks good. I probably could have went over a little bit, but um, I didn't realize how big it was at the bottom. I'm, sh I'm not sure if I should turn it around or not, because that, that screw would be hidden. Um, I'm not sure which way I want to put it yet. <laughs> okay, I switched it up. I decided to go downwards, and I, I like that way better, but I do still have that other, like, screw and stud um, there with the anchor. Sorry, yeah, there's no stud either or, but I just anchored it, so I'll let you know over time if it ever falls down. But the fishing line is really strong, but I am really liking how... Of course, the artwork came out. That's the whole point of the video, but I needed Benny's spaceship just near it. So I love how it turned out. You guys will have to let me know. Do you like this way down or the other way up? What do you guys prefer? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now it's revealed. You can see Benny on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. What like, please comment below. If you use this, what would you make? Like, would you make it unique? Of course, would you do Star Wars? What theme would you make? Let me know what 
you totally want to like come up with with a mock I'd love to hear it in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one never stop building